can you tell us about your project? Yeah, I was just in a film called Rachel Getting Married, directed by Jonathan Demi, and uh, it was an amazing experience in which I got to be a part of an improvised cast over a scripted cast. It's pretty awesome. Oh, my uncle is Tak Fujimoto. He works with Jonathan Demi a lot. Uh, who is the director of cinematography on the film? It was, what's his name? Declan. His name's Declan. Yeah, yeah. We just called him by his last name. Well, congratulations. That was a great film. Well, can you tell us how you got into the business? Um, I actually got into, uh, I guess, being in films simply because I write poetry and I perform a lot on stage. And a lot of the directors that have been that I've been in their films, they came and saw me perform and stuff like that. So Jonathan came and saw me perform. So have you been writing poetry since the time you were little? Yeah, since I was about this tall, which would be ninth grade. So about ninth grade on, something like that, yeah. Okay, and do you have books that we can pick up? Uh, yeah, I have books, but um, I'm currently moving to putting all content online for free. So. Really? What's your website? Bosia.com. B E A U S I A. Okay. Pretty crazy. Well, that's great. So you went from being a poet to being in these major films. Did you um, go to acting school or anything to get ready? No, not at all. I mean, I don't have any. The only formal education I have is going to dramatic writing school at NYU, so writing plays and screenplays. But other than that, I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just try to work with it. Yeah, I sure. NYU is a really good school for. <laughs> <laughs> acting. Well, I, all I know is want to do is move out of Oklahoma and move to New York. So that was about it. Yeah. Oh, you were raised in Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. well, I'm a Southern kid. <laughs> really? How did you end up in Oklahoma? My dad got transferred in his corporation. You know, so I'm really biscuits and gravy. That's the kind of guy I am. Well, can I ask what corporation your dad was in? He used to work for Dana. They manufactured auto parts for like axles. What was it like growing up in Oklahoma? Well, I think all of the difficult things I went through in Oklahoma are all the blessings I have today. If I didn't go through that isolation, I wouldn't have written. If I didn't write, I wouldn't have be where I am now. So that's really important. Um, did you have to um, overcome any hurdles being in Oklahoma? Just well, yeah, I, I'm 32 now, and um, you know. Oh, you don't look like it at all. Thank you. <laughs> Core training, yoga, mixed martial arts. Is it? Oh, okay. You do martial arts. <laughs> well, I'm Asian, aren't I? Um, I am, and I don't do martial arts. So. That's true, but you should because it's cool. Not I think yoga's Asian. cool. Oh, yoga's also cool, very mm -hmm. cool. But um, yeah, lots of obstacles. You're growing. You're talking about growing up in the '80s, where the only people you can look to are like you know, you know, the, the representations of who you are on screen aren't as developed as they are today. So at that time, it was very lacking. And so for myself, it was very hard to find people I connected to or that I belonged in where I'm from. You know, so. so when you came to Los Angeles, did you try to connect then with um, other people in your culture? or? Um... You know, I think that by virtue of when I moved to Los Angeles and where I'd become in my life, people have been very lucky. I've been very fortunate to have people sort of bring me around to different communities ethnically and stuff and just in inform me more about what the different communities of Los Angeles are like. Okay. And what projects are you working on now? Well, um... I'm kind of steering away from that type of talk, so really I just tell people I'm doing general artsy fartsiness. <laughs> so I'm really like, uh, I'm really just an artsy fartsy dude that by nature of just feeling really blessed, I'm able to do whatever I want artistically. And over time, people seem to connect to it or resonate with it. And how that manifests, I don't know. Do you think this calmness comes from your yoga? No. I think it comes with really... <laughs> really facing who I am and being okay with it. Oh, I, I mean, not just being okay, I mean, God, you're lucky. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.